correctly placed electrodes are essential. The following steps will guide you in correctly placing those electrodes. Step number one, place your finger at the top of the sternum. Move your finger downward until you feel a horizontal ridge or elevation. This is just a slight elevation or ridge. This is the angle of Lewis and it is where the manubrium joins the body of the sternum. Follow the angle of Lewis to the right until it meets the second rib. Locate the second intercostal space which is immediately beneath the second rib. From the second intercostal space, the third and fourth intercostal space can be found. Note all electrode positions refer to the gel on the electrode, not the entire electrode. Place the V1 electrode in the fourth intercostal space just to the right of the sternum. Place the V2 electrode in the fourth intercostal space just left of the sternum. Note that the electrodes should not be greater than two centimeters apart. From the V2 position, locate the fifth intercostal space and follow it to the midclavicular line. Position the V4 electrode in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. V3 is positioned between lead V2 and V4. V6 is positioned in the midaxillary line level with V4. And finally, V5 is positioned in the anterior axillary line level with V4. You should note that when placing electrodes on a patient, the chest should be shaved prior to electrode patch in order to get good contact. Next, we will attach the limb leads. The right and left arm limb leads should be placed just below the clavicle in the area of the shoulder. The leg leads can be placed anywhere below the navel, preferably at the level of the ankle, but can be placed at the level of the hips. Next, you will collect, connect all of your leads. It is imperative that you follow the guide in placing the correct lead on the correct electrode, making sure that the left leads are placed on the patient's left side and the right arm and right leg leads are placed on the right side of the patient. We hope that this helps with placing leads when doing an EKG. It is also important to note that if the patient is connected to an external monitor as found in CCU, that the leads and patches do not come in contact with the existing monitor leads and patches that the patient is connected to. This will cause interference on the EKG and give you a false reading.